Okay, boys and girls, this is a moment of science dedicated to John, I mean, Don, Donald, Jeffrey, Herbert, sorry, I'm not used to this video podcasting thing, boys and girls, but Donald, Jeffrey, Herbert, better known as Mr. Wizard. Mr. Wizard was a very, very brave, intelligent man during the Second World War. When his country needed him, he went out and fought the Nazis. He dropped bombs on them. And the fascists in Italy dropped bombs on those people too. But this is not about killing people. That's thing he had to do to defend this country. No, no, no. That thing he had to do. But this is what, this is more about what, what he did afterwards. 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 He dedicated his life to helping educate children. And the way he did this was through showing them how science works. And he didn't use props that children didn't have. Well, occasionally he did, but only if he had to as a last resort. Generally speaking, he would use props that people would have inside their own homes. Well, unfortunately, Mr. Wizard died not too long ago. But Rebecca Watson has put up this challenge to do moments of science along the same lines as Mr. Wizard would do. Well, this is a moment of science. It took me a while to figure out the best thing to do. Well, I discovered something that can be done with no props at all in a bedroom. I've actually taken this camera into a bedroom and this is a bed underneath me. Yeah. What's this wonderful scientific experiment anyone can do with no props at all? It has to do with using cavitation to make music. Well, first, what is cavitation? Well, cavitation is when one forces bubbles to form inside a liquid. Kind of like, you know, soda pop. Hmm, soda pop. Oh no, hey, here's some soda pop cans. Well, but this is not gonna use soda pop. No, no, that, that would be a prop. So it's gonna use the only things that people there's not going to use any props. Well, what would happen if one were to suddenly cause, you know, a massive drop in pressure inside a liquid with no bubbles in it by, by putting tension on it? Well, well, at first the tension would build and build and build so that when the bubble started to form, it would grow extremely rapidly. And in the heart of the bubble, well, the tension would, would would stretch the bubble so fast that its heart would be a near perfect vacuum. And then it would implode asymmetrically in the menisca, that is the surface where the bubble meets the gas, or in this case, a near vacuum, would come crashing in asymmetrically and slap itself, generating a slapping sound like this. You all heard that, right? Well, imagine hundreds of bubbles all uh, collapsing asymmetrically, not being round, and having all their menisci crash into each other all at once. Now that would make a pretty cool sound, wouldn't it? Well, it just so happens that you can use your own fingers in cavitation to make music, thus. You see, isn't that cool, boys and girls? And Don Herbert would be very, very, very proud no props. Yeah, and not only can you use your fingers, but you know, maybe your elbows might. Well, well, not that one. By the way, if you do that, make sure you don't hit anyone. Now, the right one did. Maybe your neck too. Eh, not much there. Well, you all have knees, I suppose. Oh, well, since bed, it's kind of hard to get the knee in the image, but aha, uh -huh. crack. You see, and crack the other one. Maybe some toes. You think we can get some toes into the image?
<laughs> Still try the other foot, boys and girls. Now, this is very interesting. Let's try these fingers again. Nothing. Why is that? Well, at first, well, the first time I did it, there were no bubbles there. I put massive strength, massive amount of pulling on the joint. This, until finally bubbles started to form. And when they started to form, they were stretched really fast. And then they imploded really fast. Well, now there are bubbles there. So that, you know, it's a, you know residual bubbles. Because they didn't implode to nothing. They implode to a very small size. And until those bubbles dissolve, they'll be there. And as long as they're there... When you put tension on the joint cavity again, they'll grow, and then when we release the tension, they'll shrink, so they don't have that rapid expansion followed by rapid implosion. Now, if you wait a few minutes, you'll be able to make some more music. Now, boys and girls, I want you to go and press your parents and your friends and your teachers and basically everyone around by cracking all your joints in their presence and say, hey, look, mommy, look, daddy, uh, look, friends, look, teachers. I can make music using cavitation, and everyone will really appreciate it. Well, so there, boys and girls, this is your moment of science. Go off and give everyone a free moment of science. Crack everything, crack everything a hundred times a day, a thousand times a day. Impress everyone. Everyone will think, whoa, you're a super genius. Thank you now, boys and girls. Thank you very much.